happy crumble cookie Monday for box week. So I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. This is the Mother's Day week cookies. We're going to go through this week's lineup and let y'all know what cookies we got. First one is not really a cookie, but... But he is hyped for this one. Really hyped. Raspberry, Raspberry cheesecake. I don't know what she's talking mm. about. It's chess. Next is... Pink velvet cake. Mmm. Mm. The next one is Mom's Recipe. What's that? Mom. Mom's Recipe. Mom, what you be making? My recipe, I'm not telling you. Hey. And the last cookie for this week, mm -hmm. Lemon Poppy Seed. So we're going to go ahead and get started trying these cookies and letting y'all know which cookies y'all should get this week. So again, as I stated, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Hope you enjoy your Mother's Day this Sunday. Uh, my father's birthday is the 13th, so we're going to be celebrating his birthday and Mother's Day. It doesn't overshadow his birthday, but it's kind of like missed. We're going to have fun though. The other two cookies that we didn't get this week was the milk chocolate chip and this chocolate cake. So we had the chocolate cake before. We liked the chocolate cake, but we also liked the lemon poppy seed, so we decided to go with the lemon poppy seed today. Yeah. So now we got two fruits. We got the lemon and we got raspberry. Mm -hmm. so we're just going to go ahead and get started, get right into it, and try these cakes and cookies out. I love the cakes. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love that they have cakes. It's something different. Different is not always bad. Different could be good, so I like different. And I like cakes, so yeah. Um, I'm going to pick first. So the first cookie we're going to try is the raspberry cheesecake. Introducing our first cheesecake, a true classic vanilla cheesecake baked over a buttery graham cracker crust, then topped with a tangy mouth-watering raspberry spread and a dollop of whipped cream. I dollop, like, I dollop went down. It's, it's like a mush. But I did put this in a... I, I did put it in the refrigerator while I waited for Nora to get out of school. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't even peel this. Now, I don't like this. That's to help y'all out when y'all get this. There is a tab that you can pull. Literally just found it. So, here go the graham cracker crust. That's really thick. So, just FYI, you will need a fork when you get this because it's really soft. And, yeah. So, here we go. It looked real good, though. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. This is fat. Mm. A 10 out of 10 for mm. me. I'm sorry. I'm going to give it a 9.8 out of 10. Mm. Did it woo you? I mean, nothing was wrong about that. The cheesecake was really, really moist and good it tastes like my mama made that cake that's a good cake for mother's day it's still good it's still good i mean it's just warm i don't know but go get it saturday uh, with some flowers for your mom crumble that that's that's fat i i want to go back and give me one so it's mother's day so you can buy me another one of these me yeah so that's how i look when we cut it so that's that Nora has the next pick what you got i got pink velvet cake a velvety cake batter cookie topped with a layer of vanilla cream cheese frosting and pink velvet cookie crumbs. So, I don't know. This sounds kind of familiar. This is the cookie. It looks real good. This is, this is the cookie. And that's the top with the crumbs on the top. And, yeah. Now, I have heard of purple velvet cake. I, I guess you can make velvet cake and make it any color you want. But, yeah, we're going to try this. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. It does taste doughy. Of course, I love the icing on the top. Mm. It's just the doughy factor to me. It's still good. And it has that real crunch at the end. Mm-hmm. It's just that the doughiness of the cookie is really turning me off. Because I taste more of the doughiness. But then, after I taste the doughiness, I do taste the cream cheese on the top. And that is so good. So, yeah. what you get that cookie on? I just said 8.5. 
Okay, so I'm going to give that cookie a seven. Just because of the doughiness. And that's really high for me with the doughy cookie. It was just the cream cheese made it a seven. Other than that, if they left this cookie with no cream on the top, that would have easily been like a four or five for me. But the cream, that, the crunch, it's all right. I have the next pick. So the next cookie I'll be doing is Mom's Recipe. It seems like she's going to share her recipe with us, guys. A Taste of Home. A hearty oatmeal cookie packed with semi-sweet chocolate, toffee, and peanut butter flavored chips. Then sprinkled with a dash of sea salt. So y'all can really see the sea salt in the pictures, but you can see that. Let's try it. Y'all can see the semi-sweet chocolates in there. And I see toffee on... Um, that might not be toffee. That might be the peanut butter. Chips. Cheers. Cheers. That's a different... It's different. I got a piece of toffee. First. I do too. I'm kind of like conflicted with this cookie. Because I don't know what to think. There's so many different flavors going on in this cookie. I taste the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I don't taste the semi-sweet chocolate. I taste the peanut butter. I taste a little bit of the toffee. So it's like an explosion in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but it's just I'm confused a little bit. I love oatmeal cookies because, yeah, I'm an oatmeal cookie girl. So with that said, I don't know what to get this cookie. I don't know. I guess it's good. I like the toffee crunchy in there. Like the crunchy that with the cookie, it was pretty good. But overall, I think I'm gonna give this cookie a eight. I give it a nine. It feels like something a grandmother would make for their child, grandchild. I don't know. I don't feel it, but with the, all the stuff in there, I know grandmas make oatmeal raisin cookies and oatmeal cookies and, and peanut, peanut butter, butter cookies and all that. Like I don't know cookie. if they'll add all this stuff in there though. It was so still I, good though. It was alright. It was alright. So Nora has the last pick. So our last cookie. Lemon poppy seed. A zesty lemon cookie mixed with poppy seeds, loaded with lemon filling, and then smothered in lemon almond glaze. Yeah. Yeah. Now y'all see the lemons and y'all see the poppy seed in there and they have the filling in there too. So to get a better glance of the filling, like when I went into the store, they had one of these cut open and on the display and you can see the lemon in there. So let's try it. Even though we tried it before. Cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Still fair. I love the lemon inside. It's so tangy and lemony and sweet and everything combined. It's so good. The cookie is not too doughy. It's a semi crunch on the end. It's not really a big crunch. It tastes like pack crust. Oh, mm hmm. It's really good. The tanginess of the lemon, though. Fast. I'm going to give this cookie a 9.5 out of 10. I give it. A 9 out of 10. So we're all done with this week's tasting. We're going to come back with our top four. And I'm going first. Okay, so now it's time for my top four. So number four for me is the Pink Velvet. Number three, Mom's Secret. Number two is the Lemon Poppy Seed. And of course, number one is the Raspberry Cheesecake. Because that was fast. So that was my top four. Now I'm going to pass it on to Nora so she can give y'all her top four. Hey, 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 my turn. Fourth place goes to Pink Velvet Cake. Third place goes to Mom's Recipe. Second place goes to Lemon Poppy Seed. Like, period. And then, first place, you already know, Raspberry Cheesecake is very classic, but very delicious. Period. So, two things. I'm sorry I had y'all zoomed in so close. I didn't realize it until it was too late. Second thing, me and Nora never have the same top four. We had the same exact top four. That's Ain't crazy. that something? Ain't that crazy? So, even though we had different numbers, we still had the same top four. But, overall, this was a good week this week. I was kind of confused by the mom's recipe. But everything else, oh, and the pink velvet, it was kind of like what was going on with the cookie. It was just so doughy. But, and it was thick. But other than that, 
if you want to go out and get cookies, definitely, definitely, definitely go get the raspberry cheesecake. Even though I know some people don't like the cakes of crumble, but we like it. So mm -hmm. we say get that. If you need a Mother's Day gift, go get one of those. If you haven't tried the lemon poppy seed, definitely go try that one. Hmm. Honestly, this is like one of Crumble's um, good cookie weeks, too. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. I mean, two out of four for me is kind of like, eh. Mm. It, that, that to me is not making it a good Crumble week. It's only two cookies. But you can go in and get two cookies. But definitely go get one. The cheesecake. That's on period. So with that, we're all done. Do you have anything else, Nora, you want to add before we peace out? We love you. And thank you for watching this video all the way through to hear me say this. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, cause watch our other videos. And make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Don't hit it. Punch it. Definitely hit that like button. Bing, bing, bing. Let us know you like our video. Let YouTube know you like this video as well. If you tried any of these cookies that we tried today, let us know in the comments below which cookie that you like the most. and Or if you haven't tried the cookies, let us know which cookie you do want to go try. Until next Monday, next Crumble Cookie Monday. Monday. We hope to see you there. In this one period.